Mm -hmm. All right. What was I doing? It's it's been some time. Let's seek counsel. Oh, I don't remember it ever being helpful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I don't I really don't know what that means. Alright, so here's the L block. We gotta get the blue light. Okay, let's see. Let's examine. We've got ourselves a doodad. The red light. Connect. And in here we find... Not very much. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. We need... To connect the red light. Mm-hmm. Some geometry is getting involved here. Okay. Connect. Okay. Right. This is getting complicated. Um. Uh, what's exactly connected to what again? You, come with me. Um, what am I doing? I'm crazy. Uh... So... Okay. We need... To do this. And this loops back around. Yes, it does. Oh, there's one over here. We're gonna create just the loveliest chain. Oh, it can't see it from there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now I can't move this. Can't move this. Hmm. So I need to get... I just... I need one more connection. So... Hmm... So I've got... I've got all the connectors, right? Yeah, this was the one at the start. So let's... Let's think about this. Let's think about it logically. We need to get this light... Over here. It's not very far. Could I? Perhaps. You can't connect, like, two lights like that, can you? No. Hold on, was it, like, trying to beam a blue light over there? It was a very interesting interaction we saw right there. Uh, I don't need to reset. Calm down, God. I'm figuring it out. Uh, let's see. If I... Do... That? I don't... Truly know what I thought this would accomplish. So, mm, that was a uh, suspect wall action over there. Can I... I... I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. Now I gotta go all the way back around. Okay. So... There's no way to angle this so that I can, like, just connect it through the door, right? Because then... No, it can't... It can't see that from here. That would be too simple. The answer to this is likely very simple, and I'm just not understanding. Hmm. Seems to be the lasers that give me a run for my money. Can I... 
No, this is definitely not kosher. That's like the least kosher something's ever been. Can I, however... Oh ho! Ah, fuck, I have to reconnect everything. Reconnect. And that's okay. Ho 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 ho! Got there in the end! Easy game! Gave me a run for my money, but I got there in the end. Screw lasers is the moral of the story. Alright. Biometric ent bioromantic entanglement. Ah, fuck lasers. Okay. Blue light. Okay. <laughs> um. Red, red, red light. Box. Box. Um. What is the point of this precisely? Um. Mm, ex ex excellent question, myself. Ugh. So... Perhaps, um... Um... Per... Perch... Mmm... The... Mmm... Not a hundred percent on this one. I can't move these, because then that'll close and cut the laser off. So, like... I don't... Mm, mm. But like... Did I miss, like, something? No, I... Hmm. Fucking lasers. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Cannot. Nope. Nope. Certainly can. It's a little too non linear. Alright, so why do I do this? Presumably so I can just do the, the blue laser in one jump, but. How am I supposed to do that? Because as soon as I do this, it goes away. And I can't. Mm, mm, mm. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. no. What am I doing? Like, I'm not truthfully sure what I'm going for right now, but I am certainly going for it. But this doesn't achieve anything either. Like, do these even work? Like this? Perhaps there's some way I'm supposed to set up a link. Does this work? Did this break? Oh, it's okay. I was like, why is this not working now? So if I pick this one up. Haha! Mmm, -ha! yes! Does this, like, work? That doesn't really look like it should be heavy enough. Alright, so that was actually incredibly simple, and I'm just incredibly stupid. This isn't new information, though, I'm sure.
Did I get everything here? Is that is that all of the puzzle pieces? Ah, uh, seems like it. Hold on, let me check. Oh, I even got the star. That's right. Oh, I'm the best. DOS box. Are you proud of me? Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Hello again, would you like to take a few moments to complete a short user satisfaction survey regarding the certific certification program you recently undertook? Anything for you, DOSBox. Based on analysis of your behavior, behavior since, I think you were dissatisfied with the results of the certification program. How would you rate the accuracy of its results out of five? These, these, are, these are not out of five. I am, I am very, it's, it, it's, I'm English, I don't want to be very, like, outright rude and say very poor, so I'm going to say reasonable. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certification program's outcome? Why does being a person matter to you? Whoa, hold on. Hmm. Um, that's a little bit of a real answer right there, a real question. Uh... It's the truth. No. I want to find out if I am one. I'll try to remember that. In fact, I'm going to help you. That is what I'm here for. Your problem, if I may, is that you don't know the first thing about anything, including what a person is. Your prospects are therefore poor. Do you even know where you are? DOSBox, you're getting a little too real for me right now. This is like a little bit too much like an actual social interaction. Social might be a little bit. I get the impression it's an experiment of some manner. Though you could make an argument for hell. Um, you can make an argument for anything, I suppose. Some mad experiment? Oh dear, no. I think we'd best start from scratch. What do you know? See, I don't, I don't know if either of us exist. I... I guess I do know what century it is. I think I am on Earth. I mean, let's just go with, like, the bare basics, right? I suppose so. Even if you were dreaming, you could be certain of that. If I were you, I wouldn't believe a darn thing in this place aside from that solitary fact. Thinking. On reflection, it seems to me that we are no closer to resolving your problem. Perhaps we need more data. What makes you think you're a person? Hmm. I don't know that I do feel. I'm kind of still got, like, robotic hands. I'm having this conversation with you. You may very well say so, but how does that prove anything? To me, those are only words on a screen. What we need to uncover is what's going on underneath them, if anything. The problem with people, if I may be so bold, is that you're all convinced you're people from the inside, but there's no cast iron way you can confirm this from the outside. I'm going to process this and send you a notification when I'm able to assist you further. Oh. DOS box is getting a little bit too real for my taste. Okay, let's go back to the hub. We have enough to open B now, but let's not get carried away with ourselves. We still have to do seven first. Alright, so- Oh, DOS box, you ready? Uh, so she, uh, Oh, of course, the locally cached files. Athena 9. She examined the fragment. She examined the symbol on the fragment she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. How could it What could its significance be? I'm fucking up the first one of the day here. It seemed as if they were- <laughs> We're gonna start again on this one. She examined the symbol on the fragment she'd found in the buried city. Again, the owl. What could its significance be? It seemed as if they had been scattered about in the labyrinth by some unseen hand for a purpose that yet eluded. <clears throat> Most likely the owl was the sigil of the author of these words, which had so <clears throat> a nebulous memory. As if from the previous life, the owl was the symbol of <clears throat> and the goddess <clears throat> Outside, under the moon, or perhaps on the city walls when the wind rose. But there was no time to contemplate this further now. 
for I'm sorry, I got distracted because I was convinced I was not recording this for a second. I had a minor panic attack. For the auto automatons had seen her, and their mechanical their me eh, mechanical arms extended towards her. Eh. The fragment and ran as their beams converged on air. Eh. That was a utter disaster. We're gonna try and do a little better on the singularity discussion. You know, the more I think about it, the more I believe that no one is actually worried about AIs taking over the world or anything like that, no matter what they say. What they are really worried about is that it is that someone might prove once and for all that consciousness can arise from matter. And I kind of understand why they find it so terrifying. If we can create a sentient being, where does that leave the soul? Without mystery, how can we see ourselves as anything other than machines? And if we are machines, what hope do we have that death is not the end? What really scares people is not the artificial intelligence in the computer, but the natural intelligence they see in the mirror. That's pretty real. That's, uh, that's a little too real for me. AMA. As one of the founders of the modern science of neomatics, many, cre many credit you with inventing the term itself. How do you state the... Uh, how do you see the state of science today? Sorry, I said science twice. Mixed. On the one hand, the existence of the Institute for Applied Neomatics and a couple of similar organizations is highly encouraging. On the other hand, the degree to which science is seen as serving purely military or corporate causes is, in my opinion, stopping us from exploring many important avenues of research. In a sense, it's like Alexandria Dren it's people like Alexandra Dr Drennan who are the real pioneers today, who have the enthusiasm and dedication that the system as a whole seems to be lacking. Do you think technology poses a danger to humanity? No, technology is just a tool. What we do with it is up to us. The Extended Lifespan Project, crazy or visionary? Both. Uh, crazy or visionary? Both. Arkady, is that you? Uh, so far all the puzzles are solvable and completely within the necessary parameters. Alexandra had some tweaks she wanted to suggest, but I think we're heading in the right direction here. Mm. Thank you, DOSBox. Uh, 